Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at how to solve a system equations using the comparison method. So in your notebook, I would like you to put today's subtitle, which is Solving Systems Comparison Method. Now the comparison method is extremely easy to use, and the best way to learn about it is to jump into an example right away. So I would like you to put the following example down. I would like you to solve the system of y equals 4x plus 10 versus y equals 2x plus 16. Now keep in mind that the point of solving a system of equations is to figure out when two functions intersect each other. So the comparison method works by allowing you to make one of the rules equal to the other rule in the following manner. 4x plus 10 is equal to 2x plus 16. This basically is telling you to figure out when both y values will equal to each other. Once you have this set up, then it becomes just a matter of solving a very standard equation. So I'm going to move all my x's to the left side. So that's going to end up with 4x minus 2x on the left. And on the right, I'm going to end up with 16. And moving the 10 over makes it become a minus 10. When I keep going, I end up with 2x equals to 6. And when I isolate my x, I end up with x equals 3. So these two lines will intersect at an x-coordinate of 3. How about the y-coordinate? Well, to solve for the y-coordinate is actually very easy also. All you have to do is take the x-coordinate that we just found and plug it back into either of the original rules. So, I'm simply going to take the second rule over here. So this rule is y equals 2x plus 16. And then I'm going to plug in the x that we just found just a few seconds ago. So y is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 plus 16. And I get a y value of 22. Therefore, the solution to the system is 3 and 22. This means that the two lines, y equals 4x plus 10 and y equals 2x plus 16, will intersect at each other at the coordinate 3 and 22. As you can see, the comparison method is a very easy technique to use. So, I think it's time for you to try one on your own. I would like you to put down the following example. Solve the system of y equals minus 2x plus 14 versus y equals 3x minus 6. Go ahead, pause the video, and give it a shot. Alright, let's see how you guys did. So, I'm going to make one rule equal to the other rule. So, I have minus 2x plus 14 is equal to 3x minus 6. Putting on my x's to the left, I end up with minus 2x minus 3x is equal to minus 6 and positive 14 on this side will become negative 14. When I keep simplifying, I end up with minus 5x is equal to minus 20. And when I isolate the x, I end up with x equals 4. Now let's figure out the y value. For that, I'm going to use, um, how about the second rule, which is y equals 3x minus 6. Let's plug in the 4. So y equals 3 times 4 minus 6. And I get a y value of 6. Therefore, the solution to this system is 4 and 6. That means the two lines will intersect each other at the coordinate 4 and 6. I would just like to end today's lesson with a little note about 
when the comparison method is appropriate to use. So please make yourself a little note which says the following. This method is good to use when both rules are written in functional form, meaning both rules should be written as y equals y equals so that this comparison method is the most efficient method to use. And that's all there is to the comparison method. As you can see, it's an extremely easy method to use and does not take much time.